Hey friends, I want to show you a bunch of carry-on travel backpacks. Everything on this bag, sexy bag, external access, is against your back. Nomadix travel backpack, tick pockets, peak design in Milan. Okay, probably my current or Montenegro. The air travel pack. First of all, Manal, because I was traveling. I love this company. Okay, special features. These are big backpacks. Normally maximum carry-on size. At the end, I'm gonna get into some that are a little bit smaller so that you can travel in places like Southeast Asia or places like Australia, where there's way more restrictions on your weight or your size. But North America, Central America, South America, lots of Europe and stuff like that, you get this like 35 to 40 liter sort of size. The first ones I wanna start with are what I'm calling the sexy backpacks. But, the very first one I've got to share is this one. This is the only one of all the ones I'll be showing you that I helped design. This is the packed travel backpack, all right? It's made from recycled water bottles. Like I said, I helped design it. These guys got in touch with me after I reviewed their duffel bag, an amazing duffel bag, and this is an amazing backpack. It opens up and you have two main compartments here, okay? So your main compartment is segmented into two spaces. I'd normally put like clothes over here and I can put them without packing cubes because this keeps it nice and uh, keeps it nice and tight. Gotta keep it tight. And over here, this is where your laptop goes, right here, okay? In the middle, suspended between your clothing, normally soft goods, things like that, which is killer. And then you've got the other segment over here. So this double-sided thing is really what makes this bag so unique. Besides the fact that it's also got all of the external access. Now, there's a handful of things we're gonna be talking about when we're talking about travel bags. External access. Can I stash things where I need them so I can get them while I'm in transit, okay? Comfort. Is there a frame of some kind so that the hip straps can help me to, you know, actually distribute that weight onto my hips. That's what we've got in this one. Nice straps, luggage pass through. There are so many features on this bag. This, these hip straps, they come out and it's a sling. Right back here is a secret compartment with a secret compartment inside. This is actually designed to be your TSA pocket. So everything in your pockets as you're going through TSA goes right into here. Zip that up so you don't have to worry about it losing it. And as it goes through the belt, it gets to the other side. You can see clearly where all your stuff is that you need to just grab and throw back in your pocket. Thanks, Pact. On the top of the bag, you'll see three zippers, okay? The middle one is what expands the bag into its two compartments. The front one goes into a waterproof pocket. So anything that you have that you might, you're afraid might explode, right here, you don't have to worry about it spilling onto anything in your bag. I use this just as my, my quick access pocket. I love it because it's big. I can fit my Bluetooth headphones, AirPods, like my phone when I want it out of my pocket, all the little things, bars and snacks and things that I, that I need in transit. And then this back one gets you actually into that compartment in the back of the bag. Great handles, every, we, we worked so hard on this thing, so I have to start with this, and you need to know that I'm compromised about this one. I think it's one of the most stylish bags out here. I think it's, uh, that's why I'm including it in the sexy bag category. But I've got a bunch of other sexy bags, okay? Just wanted to start with this one because, got a shout out to Pact, because they got me involved in designing it. How cool is that? Hey, by the way, I have videos on basically all of these bags, okay? So if you wanna go deeper, just check out the link in the description to go deeper. Another one in the sexy bag category. Now this maybe is not as sexy, like it's just a little bit like a, it's a little bit sexy, it's a little bit like tie me up. It's a little bit like it gets kind of sweaty looking, you know what I mean? This is from Gravel. They also have a frame in the back so it's nice and comfortable. Comfort is another thing that we're talking about when we're talking about travel bags. This one also has a hip strap that clicks on here and can become a sling. Kind of a weird looking sling, but it has worked really well. You can check out my video on this one for more details on that. Luggage pass-through, solid big beefy straps, 
The whole thing's kind of water resistant. With the Pact, we have a big condom that you pull over because nothing's more effective than that when you're really in a deluge. These have, this one has water resistant zips and a water resistant material. So you're pretty well taken care of. A simple little pocket out here just goes about that far. An admin pocket sort of up top which this is designed for one of their toiletry kits, Gravel Make Epic Toiletry Kits. This pocket goes all the way down, so you'd want some sort of like bigger tech pouch or something in there. You've got a water bottle pocket on the side, and then you open up these zippers, and you just got one big container that you're able to segment using these like almost like camera dividers in here. So if you want just a one big space for all your stuff, recommend putting uh, packing cubes, using things like packing cubes in there. Little meshy pockets up here. A fairly simple bag, but they did a good job with all the essentials. There's also a quick, little quick access pocket right here that is that is just so, it's really tight, it's kind of hard to use. Not the, not you could slide your phone in. If you're just putting your phone or AirPods right there, maybe you can fold up your uh, boarding pass and throw it right in there. Big old back pocket here with your laptop, and this is just a zipper to get like back into the frame, stuff like that. Some tech pouch, business paper kind of vibes right here. I have a slight worry about the fact that that is on the back panel of this bag. So all of your pressure as you're carrying this is pulling on that zipper. It's a good YKK zipper, but still, you know, I just kind of a little bit worry about that over time. I think they did a great job with this one from Gravel. Now, I've got four more in the sexy category. This is the Air travel pack. This is one of the sort of highest recommended travel packs. It looks slightly smaller. You have slightly less capacity than the two bags we were just looking at. This is a special X-Pack version. That's why the orange inside of here. This is for your quick access. This is for a shoe compartment on the bottom of the bag, which is helpful to keep your gear sort of segmented if you want, or you can kind of just shove it away if you don't want it. A couple meshies inside of here, solid water bottle pocket. Uh, ultimately a very like, it's, just, it's like a set, again, sexy. It looks good. It's nice, all black. This is like I said, the X-Pack version, but the ballistic nylon one is great too. These compression straps get a little bit frustrating for me over time, but they can compress your bag a bit. Nice, big, chunky handles. Quick access pocket right on the top laptop pocket back here in the back, flat pocket on the front bottom face, and then a big admin pocket here where you can throw all sorts of things like your business papers and, I don't know, computer chargers. Solid piece in the back here, but it's still got, it's not a frame. You have some bowing and things like that. And you got some hip straps that you can connect if you want. But this is like a, I put this at like 35 liters. It's not as big as some of the others maybe. But I do include it up front because it is one of the more popular travel bags out there and a very solid option for any of you. Just like all black, built really strong, uh, can can take whatever you throw at it. Air. The Peak Design Travel Bag. All right, people love this bag, and for good reason. It is really, really sexy, okay? It's a, it's a, it's, it is probably the president of the sexy, of the sexy bag club. Get into your main compartment here on the back. They're using Zoom zippers, a big water sealed number 10. You got a laptop compartment over here, and then your capacity, right? Lots of capacity with a couple meshy pockets right in here. Now, with this one, you have the ability to access this main compartment on either side of the bag through these wings, okay? You can connect some camera accessories that that can be very useful for, for some of you. While we're on the back of the bag, you've got these magnetic flaps back here that your straps and hip straps just come right out of. I love this feature. Personally, it's nice to be able to just kind of hide your stuff 
away when the bag's not in use or when you're in like car mode or something like that. G hooks for the hip straps. Now, some people complain about these straps that they're not padded enough or thick enough or fat enough or something because if you do load this out with a big load, you're gonna feel that. You will, you're gonna feel that. So I would say, Athletic frames are gonna be totally fine with this. That's that's kind of like what my what my language is on it. If that's something you're really sensitive to, whether or not you're athletic, this is not the most comfortable harness system that you'll see here. Then on the front, you've got a quick access pocket right here. It has a nice little stretchy, meshy sort of uh, panties feeling inside. Small though, like just probably just enough room for my for my phone. So probably wouldn't put my phone there, probably would just throw keys in a, like a bar or something. Then you have this whole front panel here that opens up, okay? And you've got meshies up here, meshies over here, which are actually the, the, the meshies that you saw on the inside of the main compartment, which is nice. And then you have these other small kind of hidden zipper poles, which one of my zipper poles came off but it expands this section, okay? So you can get another little beefiness right here, expand it out to 45 liters, I think, com complete with both the main compartment and this expanded, you've got it big. There is a feature that this does where it snaps, like there's a button here that like snaps together and now you've got like a smaller daily carry kind of bag. It's an interesting idea, but in practice, it's still a massive bag. It's not at all like I would want to have a packed in da daily carry bag sort of packed away in here. So I don't think that's a selling feature for me, so to speak. I, if I was carrying a daily carry, I would just probably end up carrying it like this. Like it doesn't save me much space. Your mileage may vary on that. Peak designs, travel bag, very, very capable. Nomadics travel backpack, taking I think some uh, some insight from Peak design, but doing things their own way. Big old chunky water sealed zip that's kind of hard to move around and stuff. I've got some hip straps here that are removable, but big capacity here. You can see this is my quick access pouch right here. On this, we also have this expandability going on where you can expand it out to get a little bit more capacity in that space. This is much more functional to me than the Peak Design one because it's expanding my main capacity instead of a secondary compartment. You've got a small vertical pocket right here, zips up right there. That's like uh, maybe, maybe a, whatever you put in here is gonna all fall down to the bottom, right? This whole bag has a little bit of padding around the outside, like a little bit of of structure built in. I'd say it's just slightly heavier than the Peak Design. Just a little bit, just a little bit heavier. By the way, this Peak Design also has my, some of my favorite water bottle compartments in the whole world, one on either side. Here we've got a water bottle pocket on the side that you can zip closed. It's like, it's a okay, it's a satisfactory. Bigger water bottles would not fit in here very easily. Same thing on this side, okay? So you can use this as a pocket or a water bottle pocket because you got the zip and a little bit of meshy in the back here. So whatever you put in here is gonna be kept in there. Laptop compartment on the back, which is nice. Can access it from the outside, whereas the peak you have to like zip all the way around, open it up. Maybe you could zip just the top and pull that out there. Then you have this big admin panel here, all right, where it's just gusseted. So you can throw some stuff here and it's never, it's not gonna fall out when you, when you zip this open. You've got some nice, an RFID pocket here. Another little meshy kind of guy here. A bunch of these uh, elastic guys over here. So where do you put your Bluetooth headphones in this thing? Maybe in this front pocket right here. Back panel straps are really nice, comfortable, perfect wide, a little bit of contour to them. You got the load adjuster straps up here, little bit of air channel, luggage pass through, and then here's where you can put the optional hip straps. Ultimately, a really, really capable backpack, this one. More of a shell, more of a padded protective shell, but the size and shape of it, it's easy to move around, just like the Peak Design bag, right? So, Nomadic kind of crushed it. By the way, links below on 
all of these bags, time code links. So if you are getting something, please use my link because at no cost to you. In fact, sometimes you might even have a discount applied when, when I can with each of these. Thanks. All right, the last of the sexy bags, the Boundary Supply Eris. Very sexy. Crinkly, you hear that? But extremely weather resistant, extremely weather resistant. Great harness system. Got a nice little, like you can see almost like some carbon fiber type stuff back here. Really, really padded and cushy. Maybe, maybe a little too much like, is that a thing? Can you have can you have too much cushy? They use these big chunky guys here. You see this? This is like you can put that like up and out of the way when you don't when you don't want it. We've got a big water bottle pocket here. This pocket here in the front is flat and goes down in kind of to to there ish. Inside of here is kind of like a silicone rubbery feeling. So whatever you put in here is a little sticky on the way out. Not like literally sticky residue, but just like can kind of stick to the edges. Then you have a zipper on the top, which goes into a medium size pocket. Okay, so big enough for a pair of like two high top sneakers could probably fit in here. You wouldn't want to because it's just one little slit that you're putting that stuff in. This is Bluetooth speakers, phone, maybe a tech, a tech pouch, like anything that you need right here, you wanna be able to go in blind so you can feel around and you can tell what's what. You don't want a jumble of crap in here, probably a pouch in here with smaller things and then like Bluetooth headphones, stuff like that. Then you've got this zipper on the side, the opposite of the water bottle. This goes into the main compartment, so anytime you need to get quick access to something, you can do it there. Then zipper on the back and Laptop on this side, main compartment over here. You can see this zippered up and rolled, tucked away. Guys, so you could put all your stuff in here, zip it up, right? So it doesn't fall out when you open this up to get your laptop or something like that. Here's that medium sized pocket, give you a sense of the, uh, of the size. By the way, inside that one, there is a little zippered guy. It's in like a couple, it, it's not a great, it's not a, it's not a lot of visibility, but I do love that size of pocket. And most of these bags don't have that size of pocket. Similar to on the packed, that top front, the waterproof pocket up there. So you can see in here, taped seams, really, really weather resistant, really scratch and abrasion resistant material out here. Nice, pretty lightweight, good, uh, Laptop compartment, lots of protection, some nipple clips. You can attach an accessory or two up here. Soft sided on the bottom. So when you're packing it, it might collapse a little bit. You pull that up and then zip that top around it. Really capable bag here. Great handle on the top. Boundary Supply famously like late on delivering product. I always hear people going like, man, I'm still waiting six months for my Arclight Sling or whatever. So, you know, put that in, it, take it all with a grain of salt. So that's the end of the sexy bags. The glasses come off. These are the bags that get you from point A to point B. Just simple, put it on your back, carry it where you're going. The Topo travel bag, okay? 45 liters is also available in a 35 liter. I love the aesthetic on this thing. Little zipper up front, vertical for a little stash pocket. Got a couple little pockets inside there. Huge YKK number 10 zips. Admin panel up front, you can see a few little pouches and a zippered guy for some business papers. You can also see this red bit right here that's for like slipping your zippers through a little bit of little bit of security which is kind of nice though it's typically more of a hassle than you care to use especially at least on that pocket maybe on the big pocket you're more likely to do that here's that big pocket boom huge meshies up here then this guy is your main compartment here about four inches i'd say of depth inside of there. And on this side as well, you've got a zippered compartment to put in, maybe slide in some business shirts, man. Simple, heavy duty Cordura materials. The back panel, nothing much special. You've got 
hip straps that you can hide away. No real mesh back here, so it can get kind of sweaty. And you also have no real rigid, rigid frame at all, though your laptop in this laptop compartment back here would be helpful for a little bit of setting up the frame. Ultimately, some of you, especially if you're wearing like OP corduroy shorts that go up like above the knee, like maybe mid thigh, if you have a mustache, something like that. If you have a Coors like original in your hand right now, you're looking at this going like, well, I know what travel bag I'm gonna get. <laughs> I got a killer like 70s mountain aesthetic. Great work, Topo. The Tortuga set out 45 liter massive bag. Really, really like robust straps. You can put on some hip straps right here. Not the most, you know, not the most rigid back panel here. You know, I think they could go a little further that way, which would make the hip straps work a lot better. But this like Swiss cheese, beefy, it feels quite comfortable. I have used this bag often in my life over the years. Massive capacity, simple pocket right here. Then admin pocket right here, throw in your iPad or something, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of space that goes all the way down. Big old water bottle pocket with a nice meshy, meshy feel to it. Then your main compartment, which you don't have to undo any compression straps to get into. And it's just like, what? <laughs> Hi, got a lot of space here. Okay, lots of flights in the world. This is not carry-on compatible, but like I said, the US, a lot of like North, South, and Central America, this is probably fine. Meshy pockets on this side, big old soft shell bag. Neoprene handle on the top and one of the sides, very capable, very comfortable bag, really big Tortuga set out, link below. The Nomadic Travel Duffel, okay? This is surprisingly capable bag. It's a duffel bag. So what, what's it doing here? Well, it has shoulder straps that ended up working whenever I've used it, working pretty damn good. They have this like funky, like choose shoulder straps or handle thing and it ends up working okay. And then hip straps. Now, this is what made this so good. Your laptop ends up being right here. You pack this bag out full of stuff and it has, it like, it ends up having like decent, strength for putting all of that right on your back. You don't have any support from sweat, so you're gonna get sweaty. You gotta kinda get these straps out of the way to get into the bag. Then you've got zips. Oh. Like I said, here's your laptop compartment, little tablet spot. The rest of this is just like fill it up with stuff. Fill it up. I mean, look how deep this goes right here. This is like, eight or 10 inches of, of stuff. Now, the thing about this guy is there are compartments all over this bag that part of me just wishes weren't really there. Look at this, this is like, you have a water bottle pocket right here that's just a slit, hard to get your water bottle in and out of, but a waterproof-ish compartment right here. And underneath that is like kind of a shoe compartment, but if you have anything in this compartment, it really ends up taking a bunch of space in there. Water sealed zips on all this stuff, which are kind of a kind of a hassle. Quick access pocket with a little bit of velour here. The zips can be kind of frustrating over time. But look at this, this is a big old admin pocket. You see this thing? Just tons of little organizing space, little RFID spot, kind of like little homeopathic remedies we left in there. My wife really liked traveling with this bag when she used it. It was never like a personal favorite of mine, but whenever I was going through customs and needed to carry her bag, for example, I would throw this on my back and I'd be really surprised how comfortable it was. It wasn't supposed to be comfortable. It's just like a big boxy duffel made out of Hypalon. Good handles. So ultimately a very capable travel bag from Nomadic. Okay, probably my current favorite-ish in this category, except for the fact that it's kind, it's quite heavy. So if you're flying places where they're gonna be weighing your baggage, this is not where you want to look, right? Big compression straps that like you gotta take off in order to, eh, wow, it takes a lot of pressure to do. In order to open this thing up, huge YKK number 10, lovely. This is from GORUCK. GORUCK just make lovely stuff. Here's the uh, belt thing, the hip pack thing that I don't have there right now. All this is Velcro, just huge compartment, huge. I love this category of just 
filling up a big box full of your stuff. Just pump it full of whatever you need and carry it on your back. One of the reasons why I love this thing so much, I like these straps. I've always liked GORUCK straps. They feel great. They're beefy and like heavy duty. This whole thing is heavy duty. In order to get to the laptop compartment, you gotta do a turn back like that of one of these guys and then pull this guy down. You've got a really protected laptop compartment pulled up off the bottom of the bag. Nice rigidity, nice stiff rigidity on this back panel. It's just soft goods, you know? It's just some Cordura, got some meshy pockets here, here, and then another one up here that's not see-through. Extremely simple, padded bottom of the bag, molly all around if you wanna put some straps. The bummer is, this is your one external access pocket, and it is worthless, in my opinion. My apologies, go ruck. But these, like on their go GR1, one of my favorite bags of all time, whatever you put in here goes all the way down to the bottom. One thing you could do is you could put like a longer, thinner pouch straight in there and then just zip it up like halfway. So you're close to like, just get in and pull that out. But where you, like you don't have a place to stash your phone. You, you could arguably do that inside of here. Because this zipper is so close to the top, you can maybe leave that open. Zip this guy up to at the top, and then when you need to get in, just unzip there, and you've got access right to that. The truth is, I love the simplicity of this bag. I love the bomb-proof durability of it. I just, I'm, I'm a GORUCK fan, I really am. I mean, I'm not running around with weights in my bag on beaches carrying, you know, dead logs into the ocean with a handful of other brothers. But uh, <laughs> I don't know, give it a week, maybe I will be. Part of me on this one would love the ability to stow away my straps completely so it's just in like car carry mode. That would be awesome. Dispatch's travel bag. All right, Dispatch is killer, American made. This is their hip straps, which you can connect here, kind of when you don't want the hip strap, they connect down here. Extremely comfortable back panel. I don't know why. These straps, I love these straps. Different completely than the GORUCK strap, but the kind of thing that, similar to the GORUCK, whenever I put it on, I've just been like, oh, thank you. Nice big mesh back here and underneath the strap. You've got two side pockets here that neither of which are very good at being water bottle pockets, but they're close enough. You can see this gusset out here that like bumps out. You can fit some stuff in there, but this is not gusseted, so this is your, you could also use these things as pockets though. Maybe this one's bars, and this one you just fill up with M&Ms. Then you've got a quick access right here. Goes down, decent size. Plenty of room for my phone, AirPods, my boarding pass, maybe a bar. On the back here, you've got laptop compartment. Goes all the way down, except for the fact that it's raised up off the bottom of the bag wonderfully. So really nice protection. You got some stiff enough, just stiff enough panel in the back here. Again, that stiffness you really notice when you put on the hip straps. If that's stiff enough and this thing has enough rigidity, all of that weight gets distributed to your hips. You're, you can loosen up the shoulder straps and just use them as kind of guiding. Put a sternum strap on here and that just kind of gather them in the beginning, in the front, you know. Have you ever carried a backpack before? Big beefy handle, by the way, on this thing. Like classic old school buttons and like a wrap. Feels kind of nice. I do like this bag. Big old zippers, open them up. What do you get? This huge beaver paddle. Okay, we got a meshy right here, which is your quick access from the outside. So you can get to whatever's there on the inside as well as the outside. You also have this meshy sort of zipper down the middle. Then you got a little elastic guy down here and a bunch of space, a bunch of space. Now you can see this flap in here. That is to a shoe compartment down at the bottom. So it has one segmented compartment that you can use dirty clothes or whatever. Put whatever you want down there or don't use it at all. And that pouch just, you know, collapses against the bottom of the bag. Great capacity, some meshies on the inside here. Excellent materials, USA built. I really like this bag. Honestly, it's a, it's a great one for gear hauling. Simplicity. It's like not the lightest out there. 
I, I've been, some people who are traveling in Australia, they are getting worked. They are like, you have to, it's like seven kilograms or something like that, that you can carry. Uh, so, you know, bags like this are just a no go. There's like, you, you put in, you put in a few pairs of shoes in this things at that, at that weight, you know? Not just this one, just about everything you've seen so far, right? Mystery Ranch Rover, kind of a moofy, boofy kind of, kind of bag. No, uh, no mesh back here. Nice straps. I like the straps, but no hip straps. I love this company. I love these materials. I really like this design. Let's see. It splits halfway like the packed bag, except for this side is not the same dimensions as this. Over here is your main compartment, and you can see we've got this nice mesh door. All the materials on this bag just feel a little bit better than you're used to. USA built in here is the uh, is like a, a little spot you can maybe put some folded shirts in there and then in here you've got maybe like four inches of dimension and it's tall it's like a long long bag so men are longer than others right and then on this side you've got same door but you can see the, up here we, we've got like maybe an inch and a half two inches of dimension here at the top here is a pooch that you can just kind of hide away and you've got you can see again that that like sort of a frame much wider down here than up here this pooch is for a pocket out here on the front of the bag you can see there sort of like a shoe slash dirty clothes compartment kind of space whatever you want to compartmentalize or don't use it at all and hide it away here on the front, you've got a sort of a nice like an admin quick access through your phone. There's a few little bits of organization slash pen holder things there. And then this top corner, this is your laptop compartment. Okay, you've got a little Velcro guy that goes down there. Perfect spot for putting, you know, your business papers. Look at this little spot for tablet. This goes all the way down to this, this seam right there. Really great materials. Mystery Ranch hand making stuff in Montana, I think. The Mystery Ranch Rover. Not my favorite because it's a little moofy. I would honestly prefer to carry this as an over the shoulder bag. I'd have a daily carry bag and then using this as my, as my duffel almost, you know, cause it's so big. Such a big bag. This over the Patagonia MLC, for example, this just feels like a better bag. Mystery Ranch, links below. Okay, the last one in our big beefers is the Tom Bin Aeronaut, all right? Now this one does not have a laptop compartment. It has straps that can be stowed away. It's got some padding in the back, but it's still quite, it's just pliable. Again, can be super moofy. The thing, I, I'm including it because it's basically a huge duffel bag with three compartments. Now these zips are always kind of a little rough to move because they have a water seal on the inside not on the outside so you've got this main compartment and then these zips here on the outside can be their own compartments okay they can also be unzipped and totally collapsed away so you just have one big compartment however you can see we got a little meshy up here on the top the the bag does not have any quick access right so you're going to be using one of these as you're probably the one on the top right little handles here probably this one on the top as like you know throw in your phone your airpods your bluetooth headphones your boarding pass whatever what have you right so one of these sides is going to be your quick access that's just how this thing works in transit it's basically a big duffel bag comes in this size 45 liter or a smaller size also comes in this their uh, massive 1680d ballistic nylon or a uh what, what do they call it like a halcyon that's what this liner is inside here much lighter weight less uh less dense kind of material still supposed to be pretty durable Finally, on either side, you do have these zippered pockets right here, which are very unuseful. You could probably get some little pouches that you throw in there or something, but it's just thin and narrow, 
and there's not a lot there's not a lot that fits in there you could you could throw a water bottle in there probably but i include it here because it's an epic gear hauler it's just an epic like throw everything on your back it's nice to have the compartmentalization everyone in my family had one of these for a while and this is what we traveled with and and it was it just worked awesome tom bin okay these guys are sort of the special Special features, I'll call them. Some of them are a little bit, little bit slightly smaller, and some of them just have some funky features that you should know about because they might be perfect for the kind of thing you're looking for. First of all, Manal, okay? This, I have, this was one of the bags that started it all for me. 35 liters, a little tighter than you might like. Perfect for that Australian kind of travel because it's a little bit on the lighter side, but it also doesn't have as much capacity, so it forces you to fit it all in. Actually, it forces you not to bring it. Little quick access right here. It doesn't force you not to bring it. It's like forces you to be more selective. And then a secondary quick access here. This is the more updated version and they've got an awesome liner inside this stuff. God, I just love it. Little water bottle here on this side. You got some compression straps. By the way, before I forget, there's a little zipper on the bottom and you've got a, uh, a rain fly that you can cover the whole bag with when it's deluge time. Okay, they make their own packing cubes. You've got some pockets in here with some built-in, about a about an inch of built-in dimension. So you can pack right into this bag, which is quite unique. Then, you know, the whole trick with this bag was putting it like this and packing it like this, then closing it up because it's just a soft shelled bag. It can feel a little moofy getting around. It can sometimes feel awkward, but once you've got it on your back, it feels great because it is a little more narrow, a little, a little more sleek in transit. You don't have a bunch of stuff dangling off of your bag. Then you got to see this tech compartment. It's just, it's a, by the way, the straps all hide away. The straps are solid. They're just, they're great, great straps. This whole thing flips up underneath here but just nice like edgeless straps that looks like they they uh, they upgraded these w similar to what Tom Bin's new straps look like really great solid just minimal branding on the back you do have like a passport pocket on the back when you've got the straps out and it is nice that you can fold this all up like this and hold it by like there's a handle right here right so you're just kind of like carrying it around and it's like a like a loose briefcase but this tech pocket is killer okay laptop tablet these are customizable so whatever size you need it's all pulled up off the bottom of the bag you've got a big like this weird clip thing right here for your business papers a little narrow little pen like thing right here totally unusable in my book unless you're just carrying like two pens or something i wish this was a little more like where do i put my uh power adapter or something like that but here's the deal, this bag is one of the sleekest of all time ever to travel with. A lot of professional travelers traveling with this thing. It's a little bit smaller than it needs to be for a lot of carry-on flights, which some people dislike. You could bring more with a bigger bag and in that bigger bag fit a packable bag. By the way, link below to packable bags that I love that you can just shove right inside of any of these bags because they take up almost no space. Then when you get there, you have a functional daily carry bag. This is like just a little too big just like it's just it's like as a daily carry bag you go to the cafe your stuff kind of moves out this up here is where you put your you have a lot of a lot of like your your basically your charger your camera your phone your whatever you've got that you're bringing around and so when you don't have a lot in here that kind of like weighs it down a little bit you know so not a great daily carry bag but an epic bag for transit like when you're in transit and this is all you have you feel like a million bucks because you're watching all these other people with their rollers and they're like multiple bags and all this shit and you're just like <laughs> with your headphones on maybe a half a gummy just going travel is amazing it's so incredible that we can get to anywhere in the world we can just go we can explore we can see things. This is the bag that started that for me, where this minimal one bag travel thing, 
you're free and easy and you're out in the world and all of a sudden you have less drag on your person so that you can really engage with your surroundings and that changes every little thing. Evergoods makes a huge gear hauling travel bag. Little bit beefy for sure and it's weight, but nice, like, like padded, protected, super durable, very capable, kind of like wild, a wild bag. You have on this side, you have all of the capacity if you want it and then these straps that you cinch everything down. Like this is a bag made for throwing all of your climbing gear in like bunch of rucking out gear hauling kind of stuff. Beautiful pockets on this side. God, I love the way that they design stuff at Evergoods. Like I said, not the lightest weight bag, but lots of capacity. Big YKK number 10 zip. You've got a laptop compartment here, which is big enough for any laptop you can, you can throw at it. And then a quick access up here at the top of your straps, nice little taco sized pocket. Now these straps are not stowable and they're very particular. They're a totally unique design that Evergoods invented that is kind of epic, kind of epic. You know, ah, oh, you're just locked the frick in. Huge box of things on your back, padded, protected, and minimal in terms of like no strap and dangle. I don't even think they have any hip straps for this. So you're just straight up rucking around with these very capable straps. Extremely capable bag, but a lot of people, I think this is like too serious for or something. There are certain situations where this is just the freaking best. And if you vibe with this style a bunch, with the idea of this a lot, Man, you are gonna absolutely love traveling with this. No water bottle pocket. So that needs to be inside somewhere or clipped onto the outside. Or you have another smaller daily carry item with you, right, for that kind of thing. Like I said, you do have the laptop, you do have a simple quick access, but this is really like, between this and for instance, the GORUCK GR3, the really big gray one, uh, I, I, I am a bag whore, so I don't have to choose. <laughs> you can choose. Okay, are you security minded? This is the Riot bag. I think it's their X35. I love Sarah who designs this stuff. Great, comfortable bag. Big pocket here right on the lumbar. This is kind of your quick access pocket. Everything on this bag is against your back. So no fiddly little pickpockets in Milan or Montenegro or Morocco can get into it. Nice, nice big stretch mesh. Oh, it's really good stretch mesh actually. It's a little bit sexy. Also have a quick access up here at the top. Okay, this guy goes in, got a little bit of space right there. Nice, and then your main compartment here fills in all of this stuff. You can see this, this is your rain fly. She makes great rain flies, like reflective, a little bit maybe beefier and heavier than they need to be, but totally bomb proof. Um, then once you're in here, you can kind of zip this all up. I'll link to my review on this. Here's your laptop compartment, a couple meshies on this side. By the way, you can see here these little clips that you can put your uh, your hip straps, connect your hip straps to for more comfortable carry. It does a kind of conversion down to a smaller form of carry, about that size, okay? So you can look into, click, check the link below if you're interested in this, especially for security-minded people. Going, if you're if you're traveling around a bunch and that's a big worry to you, I remember being in Florence. I mean, when I was in Milan, no Madrid, uh, I had some stuff stolen, not out of a bag that I was carrying, out of a like a day bag that I just left on the seat at a Starbucks while I ordered my coffee. The dude who stole it was in a wheelchair. <laughs> the barista helped me chase that person down and find him. I think he was causing some trouble there before, and so she's like, I know who did this but she didn't say it in English. Because I was traveling. Okay, special features, okay? This one's from Matador. This is an extremely lightweight, just 
weird, lightweight, but very functional bag. Small straps, no hip straps. You, even if you had them, you'd have to really make sure you pack this thing with something rigid to try to get them to support you. But you've got all of these pockets here on the outside. They, they label them. Segment six, segment five, a six liter. This is a nine liter. This is a 12 liter. This is a nine liter. This is a six liter. These zippers just go into like a loose little compartment inside. So this is the one I would use as my daily carry. Maybe I'd chunk things up like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I doubt it though. I know myself better than that. What I would do with this sucker is I would open this up and I wouldn't use almost any of those things. I would zip them away like so, because I'll show you where those things are. Like here's each of those segments. Segment one, segment two, segment three. So you, it, like you can fill up the entire bag with that or simply get rid of them completely and use them as like as some stash pockets on the front and not use up much volume because you're using up all of this massive, like quite large, simple, soft shelled bag. It does have a space for a laptop, but no real padding or protection. Big enough laptop thing to probably put a, you know, put your laptop in a protective case of some kind. There is a zipper here on the bottom for like a little stash thing. Maybe they have a rain fly that can go in there, but just, you need to know about it. Super lightweight, very simple, very ruckable. You've got handles all over the place and it's made well. This nylon feels great. The zippers and the zipper pulls feel great. Matador make great, super lightweight, like bitchin' stuff. These backpack straps stow away, by the way. So it's like, I would think about it more as a duffel that happens to have backpack straps. And I would think about it more as a duffel that happens to have multi-segment ability. Basically, you're gonna need to choose, are you going segments? Or you, cause you don't wanna do like one big segment and fill that with like a pair of shoes or boots or something, cause that's possible. And then everything in the main capacity, you have to like make sure is like moved away from that in order to close it, right? So you kind of go all segments or just use them as like a little place to stash stuff. Special features. Okay. One of my favorite, one of my favorite companies over the last few years for me, I'm new to them, z -Packs, okay? Just a couple cool people designing extremely lightweight, extremely lightweight. This is making gear for, for ultralight hiking. And I thought this Arc 50, it has a frame, right? Rigid, rigid frame, comfy ass strap. So whatever weights in there is gonna go directly onto your hips. Got little pouches on the hips. This bag is a roll top made from Dyneema, which is like the lightest weight. It's a sailcloth, super lightweight, super durable, super water resistant, okay? You can fit a bunch of shit into here, okay? Big stretchy mesh pockets, big, big water bottle pocket, big water bottle pocket, okay? You don't have much in terms of quick access. You just have like anything that's back here, you're traveling around in some, in like some courtyard in Florence or something like that with a million tourists. Anybody can just reach right into there and grab whatever you have. So it's a little worrisome on that front. However, if you have any like, long, if you're hiking the Camino, if you're doing some distance, if you're going out into nature, right? If you're doing South America, if you're doing some crazy, you know, Machu Picchu, like lots of actual hiking. This you're going to be, and, and you're not hiring a Sherpa or someone to take it up the mountain for you. This is so lightweight and you can just stuff it full of shit. And it's so well built. I just had to include it here. I, I don't know if any of you travel with this thing at some point, I want to hear about it badly. I really badly want to hear about it. Cause I think that this is quite, a capable bag for so lightweight. All you Australian folks, this is the kind of direction you can go for the lightest weight thing. Throw your daily carry bag right inside if you needed to, because it's got plenty of capacity. Okay, z packs that's it. That's all. What do you think? What did I miss? I know there's lots of stuff that I missed. These are a lot of bags that you can't find at stores. None of, like REI isn't gonna have almost any of these. 
you know? So this is my take on what I've collected over time that you need to know about. If I've missed something, holler in the comments. If you have questions, holler in the comments. You can check out matterful.co slash travel. And that's gonna be my page of all of these travel bags and any others that I have gathered over time that I think you need to know about, okay? You can support my work on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Chase Reeves. Shout out to my patrons. You can also, you know, just tell your friends, right? Thanks for being and be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.